as the Tigers. Tigers. I'm Stylish from the Legends. And I'm Lorray from the Heroes. Now, now let's, let's snap it on, on over to the Pledge. Hi, I'm Maddie Winkler from the Thunderbirds. I'm Emma Clark from the Phoenix. Please join us in the Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Every year, Synergy Services holds a Kindness Kansas City contest. Take this opportunity to compete in the contest. You can submit a one-page essay, drawings, or brief videos nominating individuals, couples, or groups that feel they deserve the Kindness Kansas City. The nominees must be 18 or older and not related to the student. Famous nominees won't count either. Your life ed teachers and the counseling office will have a contest guides and nomination forms. All entries are due by January 23rd to the counseling office. Here's an announcement from Dr. Ike. Good morning! I know it was a little chilly this morning, but I'm glad you guys are all here because then we don't have to make this day up at the end of the year when it's going to be nice. We're going to want to be ready to go to the pool. So just keep thinking, being here today helps us in May because that's an important time that seems like a long way away, but it'll be here before we know it. Hey, I have um, quickly some positive acts of kindness to share with you. So I know many of you have been filling out these little forms and they're all around. You can get them from your teachers. Teachers, make sure they're available. There's a few teams that I need to make sure that I get more of. And I'm drawing all of these winners from a big bin of, that we've had from the first semester. The winners, these are the people who I've just randomly drawn. Um, there are two from each team, and they will get an ice cream coupon to have a free ice cream at lunch. So uh, team leaders will have those in your mailboxes, and you can get them to them either today or tomorrow, and students, they're good anytime. so from now till the end of the year. So keep doing positive acts, keep putting them in. There's a collection box in the front lobby, there's one in the cafeteria, because I want to be able to share your positive act on announcements. Okay, i got to put my glasses on so I don't mess anything up. All right, from the Novas, we have Devonte Jones. He helped a Phoenix student open his locker. Good job, Devonte. Sydney Hamilton of the Novas. She sat with a student who was sitting alone at lunch. I really like that. Noah Sloan of The Incredibles. Um, he moved to a different seat so another student could sit. Um, a female student didn't have to sit with all boys. Sometimes that happens, doesn't it? Good job, Noah. And Mary Humiston of The Incredibles. She helped organize some reports and her hard work saved Mrs. Collins a lot of time. Good job, Mary. Austin Nardi of the Legends, he was really good on the bus, so awesome job there. Uh, Bree Kolkowski of the Legends helped um, Mrs. Schalfont find a student in the cafeteria. That's always very helpful because when they call in, it's hard to find kids because you're all around. Um, Tula Williams of the Phoenix, he helped um, by sharing extra binder with a friend. Way to be proactive, that's from Mrs. Collins. Isis James at the Phoenix moved to sit with another student who was sitting alone. Good job, Isis. Cassidy Hill, she moved when we had too many people at a table during lunch. Good job, Cassidy. Xander Livingston, he was really good on the bus. That's from um, the bus driver. Logan Wambach of the Heroes. Logan helped the front, held the front door open for several car riders in the morning, so great job. Caroline Mueller of the Heroes. She stacked all tables and chairs and got them out in the morning and she was not asked to do that. So way to go, Caroline. Caitlin Parsons of the Thunderbirds did something really good. It wasn't written on the back, but good job, Caitlin. True Clark of the Thunderbirds picked up trash that was not his in the cafeteria. Awesome. Preston Smith, he helped out carrying trash bags one day. I remember that in the, um, when we were moving uh, all those trash bags. And Madison Gorman of the Olympians helped pick up trash that someone else had left behind without being asked. Way to go, Madison. And I have one, for, um, one staff member, Mrs. Jacobs. And it says, Mrs. Jacobs helped me out with a group activity and because she didn't know how to sew. Thanks, Mrs. Jacobs. I'm not sure who it's from, but even teachers get positive acts of kindness. So 
please make sure that you continue to put those in and I'll have those in the mailboxes of your team leaders and I'll pull um, again next Wednesday I'll announce some new winners so have a wonderful day and stay warm stylish gal what's for lunch today today for lunch is popcorn chicken smackers or veggie lasagna roll-up. The premium meal is shrimp poppers and the deli bar. Side choices are mashed potatoes, gravy, broccoli with cheese, or fresh banana. I'm having that popcorn chicken. You know, I love that chicken. Oh, you know, that broccoli, it looks pretty great. Happy birthday today to Samuel Gillen from the Olympians and Andrew McAfee from the Incredibles. And teachers, please check your emails to send students to Mr. Duke. Congratulations to the following students being chosen for Student Leaders of the Month. From the Heroes, Caroline Mueller for being proactive and Spencer Reno for synergizing. From the Incredibles, Noelle Sloan for seeking first to understand and Christopher Wisman for putting first things first. From the Novas, Madison Marshall for synergizing and Isaac Falls for putting first things first. And from the Thunderbirds, Elizabeth Titrington for beginning with the end in mind and Drew Townsend for beginning with the end in mind. From the Olympians, Estefania Diaz for seeking first to understand, and Adam Gibson for beginning with the end in mind. From the Knights, Kylie Garambi for being proactive, Angela Masia Goudé for thinking win-win. From the Legends, Sydney Bolden for thinking for beginning with the end in mind, and Adam Hen for thinking win-win. From the Phoenix, McKaylee Hawkins for thinking win-win, and Andrew Gad for synergizing. Teachers, please send all student leaders of the month to the front lobby at the end of the announcements today for, for pictures and awards. Now, let's make, now stay tuned for pause. Make, well, now let's make today count. And please join us in our sign-off. It's a great, great day, day to be, be a tiger. tiger. Rawr. Good, Good afternoon, afternoon Plaza, Plaza Tigers. Tigers. I'm Mrs. Bieber from the Phoenix. And I'm Mrs. Dallas from the Legends. Now, now let's swag it on over to, to the weather. Hey Plaza Tigers, it's what this is weather with Pei Pei. The current conditions, it's 11 degrees and it's pretty cold out and it's negative five, so it's pretty cold outside. Bundle up when you go outside. The seven day forecast this week is, tomorrow it's gonna get pretty cold, but the, throughout the week it's gonna get warmer. Today's birthdays are Sam Gilliland from the Olympians and Andrew McCaffrey from the Incredibles. Today, the birthday pencil is balancing on two icebergs. And that, and that was weather with Pepe. Transportation changes are Julian Bonikowski from the Novas, you're a bus driver, bus rider. Car riders are Katie McNoan from the Thunderbirds, you're a car rider, and Thomas Cupbeck from the Phoenix, you're a car rider. Gabriel Eurista on the Heroes, you're also a car rider. That's Bye, it. Plaza. Bye.